And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Crosscode, despite my keyboard software not wanting me to. When we left off, we were just about to fight up the mini boss. By the way. Which is basically just a large version of the Tims. Damn it. Also, I want to avoid doing that too many times. I am running dangerously low on health. Oh, now I remember what I gotta do. I don't want to attack the, um... The jellyfish. I want to attack the big guy. Yeah, see? I turned off the element. Burn off the element, Leah. Holy crap. Okay. That takes off from my breathing room. Oh, okay. so hard. Wishy teeth. That's unsettling. But we go here and we discover another circuit board. Cold mode activated. Press up to switch to cold mode at any time. Finally, we're chill. Okay. So this is our throw art. I think is the one that goes all the way. Yep. A hail flurry or a snow flock. This is our guard art, our melee art. Okay. 
It's a special fire thing, too. Uh, this is the Tash art. Oh, that cough, too? I guess. Improve our HP regions since I'm always wanting that. Uh, Air level two melee are here. And a little too through art. And level two combat arts is much the same, except that you hold down the uh, the art button for longer. I can't demonstrate it here because I can't actually build my SP, but you get the idea. What am I meant to be to be doing here? Over here? Ah, oh, okay. Hi. Hey Leah. You you're here as well? I just arrived myself. Wait, I'm last? Oh man. But this is not the end of the dungeon, Lee. No, this seems to be more like a break room in the middle. Whew, that means the race isn't over yet. But man, this dungeon sure is full of puzzles. True. I mean, we could take a break. There is a landmark here, after all. We, oh, that's right. We'll lead it up to you, Leah. Just enter the dungeon when you want to continue the race. Hmm. I might want to pick up some more sandwiches, honestly. Because we're running a bit low on the good ones. Hey J Pop, how are you doing tonight? Okay, so it is here. And get these. And this is just your standard equipment. There is no real reason to get any of this if you've uh, been taking care of that yourself. Lacking at work today. I didn't ask, what is it that you do? All right, well, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. IT work. Well, computers aren't really ones to want to cooperate most of the time. Uh, there are three levels of sandwiches, by the way. There's the um, regular sandwich, high sandwich, and chef sandwiches. These are your HP items. Unfortunately, I'm already down to one chef sandwich, and I cannot buy any more. At least not yet. By the way, I should probably just quickly drop by across Central here and 
open up that gate that I had access to. I never opened up the gate at Bergen Village. I should probably do that too. I mean, maybe these sandwiches are exactly those things? It's hard to tell. Uh, where is the checkpoint? Maybe it's part of Maroon Valley? There we go. We'll go ahead and save. And uh, it's off to the races. Okay, race now officially continues. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, we can't actually make that fast enough, but we can do this. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, we, we are racing our party members. Mostly Emily, though. That's the one we really need to beat. Come on. There we go. And then immediately fail. Cool. But yeah, don't feel too bad about the IT stuff. I mean, I kind of accidentally obliterated an entire database table today. So... That that wasn't great. Oh, um, by the way, here's the thing that we can do now. We need platforms. They don't last very long, but we can make them. Jump that, we sure can. There we go. Made that much easier for us. Also, we can't go this way. Pyro Temple sure is a dungeon. Also, hi, Hivon8861. Welcome to Let's Play the World. Shoot it like a hockey puck. That is very not what I wanted to do. Oh, I see. There we go. 
In my opinion, is this better than Ruins of Talso? Um, yes. There is no comparison. Um, Ruins of Talthos is nice, but I find after a while, uh, it didn't really pose any challenge or threat to me anymore. And it started to get a little boring, honestly. Okay, so that comes back immediately, so that's not gonna work. Press this button now. We'll enable that jump pad. This does not have multiplayer. Okay. Despite being set within an MMO, it doesn't have multiplayer. Um, there we go. That's the idea. So I'll be a little more quick about it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna need a key to get in here. A lot going on here. Don't stay frozen for very long. to start over. There we go. I can use both of these at once. Apparently not as easy as I thought. Dang it! Wait, I made that jump? Oh, freaking... This is, uh... Sure is a thing. There we go. We made it. It's alright. It's fine. It's good. As 
as previously. We just want to throw fire on there. But now if we throw ice, they'll go down so much faster. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. To a flame. And that's literally what it is. That opens up two doors for us. So here's the idea. So any pipes that only have one terminus, um, they just have to be hit by the one thing, such as that one over in the corner there. Oh, that didn't like it? Oh, because it goes with both of these two. Gotcha. Okay, so what does this do? So they both hit the corn, but not at the same time. There we go. That takes care of that one. That, so we just need to hit the one over on the far corner. No, that, that didn't do it. Follow the path back. with. Sure did. Hmm. That didn't though. I'm probably going to need a little bit of assistance. can't do that. That's not gonna work. Hey buddy. Didn't work out. Perfectly fine. There we go. And we get our white key, which allows us to break silver lock. The one is this one for. Sure. 
Are we not going to be able to make this jump? Oh, we're not. Okay. I mean, that's not going to help. It's also not going to help. I mean, that wasn't actually a boss, though. That was just an enemy. Also, the puzzles in this game are some pretty serious thinking material. Okay, so that activates that. does this even activate? Okay, this activates this. So what, what I want to do is get this buddy to hit that. Then I want the, um, then I want them to be lit with fire. When, when the thing when the uh, charge passes through here, then I want to light them with ice. Oh, okay. This makes a whole lot more sense. Also, why did... okay. We got this, we got this. We got this as soon as I get my inputs right. have this in theory. Meanwhile, Emily is just running him up running him up in her instance of the dungeon. Okay, learn to aim coolio. That was supposed to frickin' hit! Okay. Read this. There we go. That's a hit, right? Okay. My goodness, that took way longer than it needed to.
And now we have Ice Mobs. Or, okay, no, Laser Mobs. Let's take a look at the map here. As we are opening a lot of paths and I haven't been through all of them. So what will this do? Yeah, that's the right idea. That's the right idea. What if I move this here? Perfect. Now this puzzle stumped me for a while, but it's because I wasn't following the angles properly. So we need to ice these. So what does this do so far? I can't see most of it. Stumped me before, and now it's dumping me again. Yeah, Terry had a similar comment.
Considering that I've already uh, beaten this game, go ahead, J Bob. Oh, wait. I think I came to that to the same conclusion you're trying to lead me to. Yeah, there we go. We came up with it together. Oh, that's a big number. All right. Quite what I wanted to do. Sometimes the big number is just there to scare us. When it just kind of flickers through a lot of numbers like that. Sometimes this just there to scare us. Okay, so we can unlock this part of the puzzle. But, we are going to need to unlock everything if we want to actually solve it. And so far we only have the one key. Laser moths. Hi. Oh, so you've met those you met those too. Why? Why is the laser moth? Um, I don't know. I want to strangle the person responsible for those enemies. Gosh. By the way, the cold element is great, isn't it? Uh, we, I guess? You could almost say it is cool. <laughs> we. Anyway, it's refreshing to have it in this hot environment. To be honest, I was really craving some ice cream since we've been running through the desert. Oh, ice cream would really hit the spot right now. Too bad you can't just summon it with one of those cold skills. And how strange would that be? Who's that guy we wanted to shoot last game? You mean Eric? I enjoy throwing ice cream at those laser moths and seeing them suffer. Oh, she really do hate those moths, don't you? Very much. Anyway, let's wrap up this race. Yes, it shouldn't be much longer. Bye! Also, I don't know who you're likening to, Eric. Okay, come on. guy with the... you mean, uh, Toby? No, Toby's alright, man. Okay. So what do we want to do? So this will make this come out. I shall open that. Um... I'll stay up.
Okay. I need to properly do this. That charge will just keep going around. So we press the button. And there we go. Let's not cooperate. Sure, that works, I guess. you want from me game okay not sure what I did differently there but that worked so I keep that spinning and so those hit at the same time we can keep moving finally Hey, buddy. There we go. That's how we deal with you. And that kills you automatically. And we get another one of our keys. Dungeon is confusing. We've already cleared this room, we don't have to deal with that guy again. Gone over 
over here. Oh, I can just break them directly? Oh, that's even better. I forgot I could do that. Alright, that's another key. It's gonna be to open that door, but we need to get two more keys before we can do anything in this room. Stay up. I think this one also stumped me originally. that I'm doing a particularly good job at it now. too low, I'm not going to be able to hit it. Or I am going to be able to hit it, but it's going to be too low. Okay, we got our key. Now there should still be one more. Don't care about you guys. take this door, actually. I 
I did not take the optimal path uh, through this uh, dungeon. I could actually hit the damn thing. Start with this because I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to hit it twice. There we go. And that's gonna stay down. By the way, J-Pop, uh, if you feel like it, you are eligible to join in the voice chat. Not exactly jumping right now, but uh, it is an option that is available to you. Alright, so that introduces this doohickey, which slows down projectile, and that one which speeds them back up to full. So what we want to do is get a projectile go. So it's going to bounce over here. We're going to need to make sure this is down at the right time so that it passes by both of these. Um, okay, so at the right time that it passes by the, Then we light these up with ice. Then fire. And start off with ice. Now uh, we blast these three things with fire. We freeze this one with ice. Uh, here, the uh, projectile is going to go back to full speed, so we need to be quick about throwing that there. To put this down. Okay. We almost had it the first try there. Oh, we need to hit that right away, actually. solved. Immediately jump into the lava. That's our celebration, apparently. Oh, mama. Hey, 
And the only thing that I can think right now is poor Emily. Might help if I could aim. Well, that little charge is getting a bit high. Nice, I hit it from both sides. Alright. Now I gotta deal with three of these jerks. Take that too. Take that one. Hey Jade, hope you're doing well tonight. All right, we have the Fire Master Key. I was wondering how we were going to hit that. Time to fight at the boss. Oh, it's a big one. Hey, buddy. figuring out what I need to be doing. That's really not doing much. Oh my goodness, I, uh, everything is bad right now.
And I burned. Mothra indeed. Very fire Mothra. I need to also not run into it. That'd be a good idea. Also, don't fall into the lava all the damn time. And then my elemental charge ran up. Alright. Playing like a genius. The main thing is to hit it in the face. what I wanted to do at all. Eat a sandwich. I to recover my elemental charge. I don't think I won this race. Oh. No, I won this race. All right. <laughs> Giant moth with lasers. Giant lasers. Why are they doing this to me? You get a hug. 
Huh. It's all good, Leah. I'm just overreacting. But thanks. Yes, you can lose the race, but winning the race gets you an achievement. Anyway, got that done. Got that over and done with. Congratulations on being the first. Drat, I'm last this time. That's surprising, you were so fast before. Yeah, I had a pretty hard time with those fire golems. And we, those are tricky. Yes, also that boss. I mean, how are you holding up, Emily? Uh, I managed, sort of. <laughs> Hush. Leah telling it like it is. Anyway, it was a fun race. Now it's time to collect the reward, right? Oui, allons-y. The everlasting sun shines strongest on these lands. Its flaming glory bearing life and death alike. On this unforgiving path, you stayed persistent. With frozen sweeps and strokes, you crossed the scorching ground. You, the traveler, the envoy of change, you have proven yourself worthy. Take this shade to open the path to the east. We get the red flame shade. Your resolve is evident and deserving of a gift of strength. Let me add to your inner flame to make its warmth, its warmth long-lasting. SP bar extended. So our maximum SP goes up from 4 to 8, and our resting XP goes up from 1 to 2. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Congratulations, Seeker. You collected your second element and reached another milestone of Operation Trackwalker. With the Red Flame Shade, you can now access Adam's Fall to the northeast of Rookie Harbor. To proceed, seek the ancient statue within Adam's Fall and accept your next trial. Take this reward for your accomplishments. Another circuit override, which I probably will never use. Good luck and stay vigilant. Okie dokie, got that squared away. Base bird was especially awesome. Love that flaming sword. Makes sense, she's a symbol for heat and fire, right? Maui, also. Just look at this place, it's beautiful. So much yeah, so much better than that gloomy cave we had last time. Come on, I want to have a look down, uh, down from over there. Well, let's take a look at this uh, lore. Anel is the creator of Everburning Flame. She made the sun with blinding light and filled the ground deep beneath our feet with a molten stone. Her creation spread war, but like, yet consume life at the same time. At first, at first the world was dark. Hence, the Yarvis and Anel created the first sun to spread light. Yet at night, when the sun was hidden, the world was dark as ever. Anel wanted to create many more suns close by, creating a world of constant brightness. Yet this world was monotonous, lacking dusk, dawn, and the coolness of the night. The two gods had a, had a new idea. They created millions upon millions of new suns far, far away in all directions. Thanks to Anel and Diarpus's efforts, we can uh, today enjoy the night with a beautiful starry sky. Not only are the stars beautiful, Diarpus placed them in particular, in particular, to stir our curiosity for all the world out there. After Anel created millions of suns, she craved for a challenge. She wanted to create the, mo the largest, most majestic sun imaginable. Thus, she started adding her eternal flame, uh, adding more and more as the sun grew further and further. Until finally, the sun had too much fire and couldn't, couldn't hold it in anymore. 
what followed was a most spectacular and colorful explosion. Even today, we rarely witness these colorful explosions in the night sky as a testament of Enel's boredom. It all started when Yorvis, the, the ethereal god of creation, was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the god of shape. Enel is one of these gods, the god of the triangle and the creator of ever-burning flames. What's a nice view. It's astonishing just to think that how huge this place is. Me and all that for a game. Well then, it was great playing with you two. I'm afraid it's time for me to log off now. I have to get back to my studies. Please, stay for me actually. What, what are you studying anyway, Tronny? Biology? That's right, how'd you know? Ah, uh, just a while, guess. All around the subject, I've been wondering for a long time now. Leah, what do you actually do? We've been playing for so long and I still hardly know anything about you. I know you're very quiet and all, but I'd really like to know a bit more about you. Um, Emily? You do know about her speech synchronization issue, right? What? Leah can't talk. What? Since when? Since all the time, I think? You're joking, right? I mean, you hear her say some. Uh, you hear her say things, some things, right? Sometimes, right? She can only say certain words. That's all. Seriously, Leah, you can't talk. Tony, how come you know? Lynn told me. Wait, do the other guild members know too? Yes. Why the hell didn't anybody tell me? I honestly thought you knew. <sighs> I believe this. Lee, don't worry about it. Not like Leah could have told you. All that time. Just thought you were the quiet type. That you just didn't like to talk much. Honestly, everyone else knew it. And it makes me feel dumb. I'm sure it's just a stupid coincidence. It better just be that. I'm pretty sure Lucas could have told me. Knowing that guy... We, I'll have a little talk with him soon. Anyway, this is a bit of a bummer. I wanted, I wanted to know you better, and now you can't talk. Oh well, I'll make sure to prepare a sufficient list of yes-no questions for next time. I'm just joking. Anyway, I really gotta go. Au revoir, everyone! Yes, same for me. Goodbye, and until next time. Bye! So... Emily finally figured it out, huh? I still cannot believe she managed to stay oblivious when the rest of the first scholars learned about it. You really need just the right conditions for something like this to happen. Bye. Bye. You want to log off? I suppose it was a pretty long day. See you soon, Leah. Uh, it's a basically a hyper futuristic MMO um, where it's not a dude playing as a girl. Uh, but uh, a common issue in this MMO is uh, the speech synthesis module of the VR helmet that everyone is wearing to play this game might occasionally fail, resulting in a player who can't talk. Uh, this guy here, Sergey, has kind of been working with us in secret and has given us a few words that we can say. We don't know much about this girl who's playing, though, because she, apparently she's currently in a coma. 
she's just able to function within cross worlds and we're trying to recover her memory did you know worms have five parts Yes, like this. Oh, you're trying this again? Hey, I told you this one isn't for everybody. Come on, I don't want to break your fingers. I mean, the company that issues them does usually fix them. It's just that Leah's situation is um, unique. This uh, dream is. I guess it has something. It's like the house that we saw at the beginning of the game. This place should be fine. Won't be integrated into the official the playground anytime soon. It's not going to run some fair. No, Sergey isn't here. Not close feet. Can't really blame them. Still, we got this far. Can't just stop now, can we? Good morning, Bea. Hi. I hope you slept well. Uh, you're acting weird. There's something I have to tell you. There have been some complications. As a result, you have been offline for three days now. Sorry, there was not much I could do about it. Well, that's concerning. Ah. Don't worry, things are still fine with you, Leah, given the circumstances. There have just been some technical problems. Oh, but I also have some good news for you. I used that time to add a new word for you, Leah. Alright, here goes. Wait! To be honest, it becomes increasingly difficult for me to add more words for you, Leah. I'm afraid things might break if I just keep doing things this way. Uh, I mean, in your avatar conne connection song. Also, I keep backups just in case. No need to worry. Anyway, I thought wait might be useful to tell others to uh, wait. Like when there's something you want to tell them. For instance, when there's something, uh, when you happen to remember something, you can tell me by saying wait, right? Wait! Yes, exactly like this. Wait! Um, 
wait. Ah, you mean you do remember something. Right, let me see, is it the person? I see, it may be a place. It's a place you have not reached yet in the game. Interesting. Now how can we further narrow, narrow this down? Oh, well, I assume that must be Emily or see her. Mia, you're back! Hi! Hi, Emily, where have you been the last few days? Oh, that's right. Um, whatever, we got great news for you. I'm here with Connie in Rookie Harbor Center. You know how to found it? You should come over. So much stuff happened here. Love you. See you soon. <laughs> Seems like you've been missed already. Well, let us discuss your dream another time. There's no reason to rush it. Let's go and meet the others. Well, let's head out there. There they are. Yeah, he Hi! Hello, Leah. It's good to see you again. Me, you almost made me worried. I really wonder what happened with you. Guess I should start poking you with questions now. <laughs> Come on, Emily. I'm sure that'll be bothersome. He really, I was joking. Anyway, I want to show you something. This way. Look up there! They finally opened the north of Rookie Harbor. Yes, and you can even you can even find more traders up there. Also, the stores now offer better equipment since we've beaten Fire and Temple. We and you better make sure to upgrade. Because here comes the big news. We'll be going on the raid! How? Me, I can hardly believe it myself. They found a raid event where players of our level can participate. That means we'll be fighting together with Lucas, Lynn, and the others. Well, kind of. There will be two tracks with two teams running in parallel. Details... Anyway, the raid is happening tomorrow. You showed up just in time. Um, wait. You still didn't collect that shade, right? Right, you're right. It's one of the pre prerequisites of the raid. You need to first cr collect the green seed shade. You'll find it in Autumn's Fall. It's just north of Rookie Harbor. Just take the uh, the exit in Rookie Harbor East. That's right. Uh, th that's right. Let's just dab it in. That's right. Just look for the glowing bird statue. You can't miss it. Anyway, Rico and I already did the quest, but I'm fine doing it again with you if you want. Same for me. You want us to join? D'accord, let's go then. So first of all, let's check out the north of Rookie Harbor since that's open now. This area was not open at the beginning of the game. I don't think I properly showed that off actually. There was just a gate here, so you can you can actually go up here. Here we can get uh, level 27 and 34 uh, vendor armor. Wait. Supported by only the finest of backers. And yes, that is a reference to the fact that this game was backed on Kickstarter. Everything here costs. 7777, except for the guaca guacamole toast. We got this chest. Four golden bars. Neat. So this is the, um, the home of Tal Tulips, which is currently closed off, it seems. Uh, 
don't know why that path exists. And document these traders. This part is restricted to the staff. <laughs> also, what's your deal over here? Nothing? Okay. So we can't go that way. So then we have to find another way. is open for us. So we can get two precious metal and also this. Sprout of Truth. Let me get the Stone of Truth out of that. Interesting. There was another one like that in actually the other two towns. We got the one in Baki Kum. We didn't get the one in Bergen Village. Anyway, I think we pretty much explored the back here. Now, one thing that I kind of want to do is um, take another look around here and See if we can find the other golden triangle. There's a chest here that we weren't able to open. But we have two of the three keys now. So we would be able to open that one if we can get to it. Ah, there it is. Just waste no time finding it. I think that's what I meant by this chest. Oops. So now we have the three golden triangles. And we can use those. Five metal needles, we have 19. We need 10 junk metals, we don't have any right now. We need a three golden triangles, and we have enough headphone scrap. So, where do we get metal needles? Edge shags. Also, rookie loot at Rookie Harbor. Hmm. 
There it is. And we have plenty of uh, materials to get those. Oh, wait. Alright, so we're gonna need a lot of junk metal. Or we can go kill some hedgehogs. Which... Let's go do that. So I have 19, I need 25. And where is the hedgehog then? Here it is. We are pretty much going to be chumps for us at this point. And we got one there. the map now. And yeah, the uh, the party members are having a bit of a conversation there. Which is a thing that I super appreciate about this game. And just have a conversation completely unrelated to really much anything. Ah! No, we're not done! Unfortunately, that rank is back down. Probably have enough needles now. Both impressive and frightening. Okay. So metal needles. Yeah, we have 33 now. Way more than enough. Now junk metal actually does not drop from anything. You have to get it from the uh, marketplace. Now, I can only get four of these, but uh, there is more than one way to get junk metal. Unfortunately, the alley quarters, isn't it? Uh, what about Bergen Village? Oh yeah, we can get tons of it here. Bergen Village Traders Den. Uh, the 
here. We're gonna need six more. you. All right, we have the core drill. Now you might be wondering why I bothered to go out of my way to get a level 10 weapon. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, gonna need this spiral gem too, I think. Yes, because we can turn it into the Giga Spiral Drill, said to be able to pierce through the heavens themselves. Hmm, I wonder what that's a reference to. Uh, but we need a polished mic, which is an item in Bergen Village somewhere, or in Bergen Trail. Bush. That's how science works. Analyze by destroying. Let's say that jump is makeable. I also want to say I would get nothing out of it. How do I get you? I think I have to come around from the other side. Sometimes these paths do get a little twisty, so bear with me.
Okay, so this chest requires a gold key. Get out of my way, you damn penguin. Yeah, here we go. This is how I get that chest. sure if I've been into either one of those. Right, I think there was a cave over here that we could not get to previously because we didn't have the right element. Should be able to analyze the Omega Land Street and get through here. There is indeed a cave over here. There's also this stuff. This seems like it leads to treasure. Golden bars. Not the treasure we're looking for, unfortunately. Well, there's a cave. Oh, this is one of those instant caves. It's like the dungeons. Let's see what this one has to offer. don't want to break those. We're gonna have some platforming to do. Unfortunately, this is not a race. It is a bit of a race against time for me because we're almost to the end of the stream time. Okay, apparently that wasn't enough. But yeah, we're not racing against, like, Emily or anything. We only do that for dungeons. A 
Which so far we we're doing pretty good on the the wraith of. God dang it! Oh good, they decided to show mercy, but not that time. Man, we're two for zero oh on races. We're one for one. Uh, we're two for two on races. We're one for two on duels. There we go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. There we go. We got the precious metal. Nobody said we couldn't. Now let's go see how many times I can fail this. sure why that was a thing. Oh, that's why. Okay. Will that retract in time? It will. Tricky. Yeah, please jump. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Jumping timing bubbles. But really, like, this is this is kind of some creative thinking for puzzles. Like, you don't really see any puzzles where you have to account on where you're going to be. Oh, we made it through. What's our prize? Penguins. Oh no. What is this? I think this is where we get our, our uh shiny microphone. Fortunately, I think the game was uh, accounting for us doing this a lot earlier, so I think we're a bit over level for this. Yeah, these guys are level 17. Yeah, I think the first time that I did this I was actually at level. 
And uh, this battle is kind of hard at level. Yeah, we got a polish mic. And we did manage to get a level up out of that. Ooh, and we got our broken shield. We haven't seen that one guy with who equips himself with all kinds of crap. He's probably hiding somewhere around Urban Village. Now where is the cave on this map? Enemies are not as eager to uh to aggro on us anymore here. Not now. Seriously, this is the second software that's wanted to update while I'm streaming. Please ask while I am not streaming. Okay, so it's over here. It's currently blocked. What if I defeat this guy? Now, yeah. all right. We probably need to get like a quest or something to get in there. I think the last thing that I want to do is look for that guy with all the equipment. I'm not going to look for too long here either. Hello player and welcome to the Omni Gliders. We are a guild of traders who try to extend their reach through offering players simple quests. And I'm a humble general. Kind of a manager for the guild. Yes, yes. Might I interest you in said quest? Well nodded. Here we go. Well, we can turn this in immediately. Hi. Oh hi Leah. You've come at just the right time. You see, I'm pretty new in this guild here. New members are mainly on duty for farming trade items. We also have to do chores, one of which was just given to me. But it's nothing too hard for others, I guess. My job is to get a storage unit from the cellar to the right. But this thing is a maze, I tell you. I didn't find the thing. Instead, all I found were boxes and more boxes. I already tried to talk to Jock and Jeff, but I can't seem to find them. They are online. I even tried this stupid Durant link. No luck. Yeah, I wonder what they're up to. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, would you help me find the storage unit? Sure. Thanks, Leah. I knew you could count on you. You can get to the cellar via the right door over there. Tell the quadrigard I sent you in the name of our guild. Friendly, that's how things work around here. Hopefully you can find this stupid thing. I don't want to make a bad first impression here. Now, that's going to have to wait for next time. Let's do one last quick sweep of all of the buildings. Uh-huh. Sure. Let's accept this quest. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'll, I'll accept it. Over here. Probably not here. Nope. 
not here. There's a building in the back and that I've never been to yet. I think this one, eh? There you are. Leah. Hey. You gave me quite the scare. Again. No, don't worry. I didn't mean it like that. I was absorbed in thought anyway. It's about another item I'm searching for. I thought exploring here might give me a new lead. But at my age, you don't always have time to look everywhere. Now, young lady, you're already here, right? So how about you find you help me find something again? The choice is yours this time. Nothing to redeem yourself from. Well, I already have it, so... <laughs> and they say kids these days only think about themselves. Let us get right to it, then. What I need is the broken shield. I've been wandering this village for hours now, but the only clue I found was an abstract location. The phrase was something like, Where a waterfall steep and mountains are high, a secret path, uh, a secret path shall lie. Yes, yes, very ominous. But I'm pretty sure the text speaks of Bergen Trail. So somewhere in Bergen Trail is a secret path or whatever. I want you to go out for me and find it. If you do, I'm sure the shield is close. Just like when you got me that broken gauntlet last time. Well, off you go then. And don't keep an old man waiting. I'm not sure how much time I have. Don't worry, I'm fine. Go now. Welcome back, young lady. Any luck finding the broken shield? <laughs> this is great. Maybe there is a chance to see them after all. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about my kids. But I'm not a man who lays his personal life on other people's minds, so don't worry. Here, take this, Liam. I really appreciate your help with these. I do hope we meet again. Bye. Bye. So that probably unlocks him in Baki Kun. And uh, that's a thing that we're going to be looking into next time. Because we are at five minutes past the end of our stream time. Let's see here. All right. So that is our stream for today. I do thank y'all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Um, Tyrion, J-Pop, and Hyven8861. Uh, were there any new follows? Should probably... I keep forgetting to open the things that I need to open. Switchboard. Yes, Hyven8861, thank you for following. I uh, didn't have my activity thing open, so thank you for your follow. The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is a code creator stream. We're going to keep working on uh, Meritus and its implementation into Archipelago. Uh, the next stream after that is going to be our next uh, Sunday Super Shuffle stream, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Uh, and we currently... Again, not having the things that we uh, need to have open here. So uh, we have, looks like, five players right now. So myself, um, Bluffy, Mazzy, Rhea, and Madison. Uh, probably some others. We'll see what happens. J-Pop would love to see you there. Um, but I understand if, you know, life comes first and all that. Uh, and that brings us around the week, around the wheel, to our next, uh, long run stream where we're gonna continue on with Crosscode. So, 
that's gonna do it for I mean I, I, I don't know what you have going on, on Sunday. I'm just saying it'd be nice to see you at the Super Shuffle. We know after football. I don't know when that is, but uh, yes, I know the. We we have the same kind in Canada. We call it football here too. We call it, we call the other thing soccer here too. It's in Europe that they call it that they call soccer football. And we have the CFL after all. Super Bowls in three weeks. Your team plays this weekend. They I don't know when games are so. Um, it might, the, the game might be at the same time as our game, as far as I know. Anyway, we can talk later. For now, I shall close up the stream. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.